about that too. We got into it. We kind of got a little. We kind of talked about our shop. Okay. Well, howdy, y'all. Hey, this is Ken. I'm Russ. Hey, yeah. I don't think we even mentioned that in our last <laughs> video. So you know, our fault. Yeah, we're tenacity. Look at this guy with the red beard and silver back. <laughs> hey, what's up? You know, <laughs> we just wanted to talk to you a little bit about our first project, first big project first in this shop. Big project in the shop. So, and that is Jade. Right now, we're working on Jade the Jeep. With, if you guys follow the I Am Jake channel, which I'm sure that most of you do, uh, you guys have seen her mini adventures, Jake taking her across the country, you know, with... Incredible sort of channel. Oh my gosh, amazing. All the way back to the sailboat days forward have been absolutely incredible. We met Jake at Expo West. That was one of our reasons why we wanted to go, really. I, yeah. I'd followed him for about a year and a half to two years, I think, previous, and just fell in love with his channel and what he was doing. and like to see his adventures it was it was great following him and seeing his content what he was doing and where he was going so we thought you know we ought to swing by and just introduce ourselves yeah, and say hi we we knew that he was in the middle of the build he was up in ogden travis was giving him a hand at the time and we had then started our business and you know we just wanted to offer our services and what we could see what we could do to help him out at the end of summer in like august time russ decided to email jay and yeah. reach out to him and you know we were trying you know to let him know that we were serious like hey you know we saw you at expo we talked to you we want to reach out i think by that time we thought it was probably too late we thought yeah, well, we were like he well, probably moved way past that point yeah, he probably, he's probably like, by now thanks guys it's already done right <laughs> there hadn't been very many video updates if we're going to be honest right? no I not mean, at that point we kind of knew something was up but we didn't want to be like hey bro like what's going on but we wanted to be there to help with the expertise that Russ has. I mean, Russ has been doing body work and has ran a body shop and has tons of collision and structural experience. So we want to reach out and offer that to him. I thought, well, we had already missed the opportunity to help him with the coding part, but well, maybe some reassembly if they're that far. So I just emailed him, he emailed right back. I just offered that we'd come up and help with anything we could whether it was the fabrication or any of the bodywork or... Yeah, we had no idea what state Jade, yeah. Jade was in. He said, so. sure, we'd love to take your help any way that you can offer it. So we loaded up on Saturday and off to Ogden we went. Talking with Jake and Travis, the G-Freaks up there, um, you know, we just kind of came to the conclusion of like, okay, hey, I'm moving into this house, so I, I ended up buying a house. Um, and it has a huge shop on it, right? So this is a 25 by 50 foot shop. I was like, hey, you know, I have tons of room down there. It has an office that we can use as like an apartment so that way you guys can sell the camper. We can kind of move around, kind of get everything kind of situated. Um, is that something that you want to do, right? I mean, we were just offering our help. Travis, you had know, he- finished the frame at that He had point. finished the frame, got that final polished and everything like that. We, we kind started of, merging the- Yeah, we kind of two. built a new, new back half when we had the old half we started merging that together at the time and we knew that we were going to get into the territory that we were more familiar with and that was more the body structural those types of things so we told him hey you know we'd love to take it over we'd love to do this down here if you want to and Travis and Jake both agreed that it was probably best to do that because body work you have to be able to stand far away from being in a one car garage was kind of a struggle. Well, the height, the height was an issue. Yeah, too. height was a huge Travis issue. didn't quite have the height. We knew that this was going to be the place to do it. We offered that. They moved everything down here. We loaded up everything. Yeah. The grapes are wrapped. Like you said, the, iron, the freaking the frying, pan. frying pan waving down the road as we went down, right? Had to do a couple modifications. This one behind me being, you know, putting in a wood burning stove. We knew winter was coming. We needed heat. We needed heat. I mean, you see, we're not, we're not insulated yet. We'll get there. No, so that we keep the home fire burning. We got Jake and Jade down here with Kinsey and the family, and we started going at this full steam. One of the big things that we noticed was is that the front, once you had a chance to kind of sit back, the front of it wasn't sitting right. No, no we, kind, we kind of noticed that in Ogden once, because in Ogden, the last day we were there, we had merged the two together. We had tacked it together and it was like, okay, finally squaring out, everything's looking okay. Then we noticed when we pulled it outside that it was sitting just a little bit weird on the frame. So one, that was one of the first things we did down here. We just started really looking everything over. Noticed that the original tub had some corrosion issues and some damage to the point where you couldn't even couldn't even use it. Infamous body mount that I shouldn't be able to see it through. <clears throat> and this is one of six points. Yeah. They weren't all quite this bad. This was probably the worst one, but it's you can see here it's collapsed here and then it's corroded and then I mean non-usable at all. We couldn't Yeah, even... it's like you would have think that Jay, 
you know, was jumped by Jake. I don't, I don't know when that happened. Like I don't, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Jake was able to find one new body mount. And luckily, it was the, the worst of the two, which yeah, was this that one. one. Ooh, and goodness. so, even though he found the new one, then we took the old one and we stripped it down to bare metal and cleaned all the corrosion and everything off of that. Then we still decided that with the amount of weight that we're going to be putting on this thing, that we had to reinforce all this stuff to be able to carry the new load that it's going to have and yeah. not which, have this happen in the future. We yeah. know that there's a ton of people who follow Jake's channel. We know that they want to see him back on the road. We want to see him back on the road, and that's why we're here, to help Jake. Absolutely. Get him back doing what he set out to do in the beginning, which is his 50-state road trip, and yeah. be able to help facilitate a way for him to do that. He's a genuine guy. You know yeah. what I mean? You, you meet him, and he's he's real. Yeah. We love him to death, and yeah. it's been fun working with him. We're a couple months now into working with him yeah we started pretty saying, much every single day we started saying a and he started saying what what was it <laughs> in the bed in the bag oh man that one's the worst <laughs> big you know um, don't you know don't you know and like stuff like that and we all just started picking up on each other's lingo and really it's been a really smooth transition and um he's seen that me and russ we work kind of hand in hand he said at one point we almost have like an unspoken language um so this is new to us talking into a camera and stuff is because we just kind of look and we're just like go you know what i mean we we know what the other one's thinking and we just go so what we've decided to do is break this down for youtube and kind of go over everything with you guys you gotta understand we're putting probably 50 to 60 hours a week into this thing i really don't think you guys want to see 50 no. to 60 hours a week a lot of us probably just scratching our heads and and you know this thing's completely custom fab it's yeah. not computer design in any way it's all custom built with images in our head drawn out on a whiteboard cheap, free whiteboard we found oh, on man. Facebook best, marketplace. Best thing I ever found. We hope to transition to doing tenacity overlanding full time. Um, whether it be through YouTube, builds, however we can source income really. I mean when it boils down to it, you know, you have to make a sustainable living in order to do the things that you want to do. So we'd love to transition to that. But for right now we're helping Jake out because in our hearts and I think you know, the way that we both feel is that we know that that journey is important and it's a huge symbol of what we all want to do, you know, in this life is accomplish goals and do the things that we need to. One of our goals is to start a business that incorporates you guys into what we do. Yeah. Showing you. Share our passion with you guys and yeah. show, you know, in any way help you guys be able to build your dream too. It's just one project in the course of very many projects to come. We've, We've got a, a good solid running list of all the people that have reached out and it's many of you and we appreciate that. Thank you. We will be getting in touch with you and stay in touch with you. Right now Jade's taking up the entirety of the shop and every corner we we've have, got a piece of We have of a Jade. loft up there, there's there's Jade parts up there. We, we, got, have a, we got a grill on the wall. We got a grill on the wall up here. I don't know if that's here. We got a door here. Jade is a huge project. We hope yeah. that you guys understand that. We do want to build Be up stuff soon. Yeah, yeah, it's just the two of us. There's no one in the background. There's no magic or anything like that. We want to transition to doing tenacity full time. And we know that we got to get this done before we can do that. And so right now, here's our labor of, of love right now that it we're is, doing. Yep. And, and this is what we got right now. And as soon as we are able to take in more projects, we're gonna let you guys know. Thank you, thank you, all of you that watched our first video. Oh my gosh, yeah, and huge. I would have never expected that. It was phenomenal, the response we got. Thank you very much. We really appreciate that. It's, oh my it God. gives us motivation to think that, okay, yeah, we've, yeah, people are enjoying, hopefully, what, we're, what we stand for and being able to help you guys in the community. And it's going to be fun. Come along with us on this journey. This is a huge journey. We want you guys to be part of it. Stay tuned. We got some sweet things coming up for you, okay?